Welcome back to Extra Holiday Games. I'm Extra Holiday and I like this level. I haven't gotten very far in it, but I like it. And we're moving on. All right, uh, how did that gate get open? I don't know. <laughs> nothing, nothing happened. Uh, got him. Yeah, this is uh, just this. What? Where does that Yoshi go? Oh, it worked. Never mind. Okay, it, it actually gets dropped. I see. All right. Uh, all right, all right, all right. So I get the gist of this level now. I feel, I feel pretty good about that. Frick. <laughs> Oh, uh, but, you know, actually it, beating it is an, another thing entirely. All right. Uh, cool. You know, I just had the thought. I don't think there is, but I wonder. I wonder if there is a way to soft lock yourself in that first part of the level <laughs> where you somehow lose the Yoshi without opening up the path forward. Because that'd be kind of funny. Maybe it'll happen. I don't know. But it would be amazing. Alright. So now... Alright. So bonk, bonk, bonk. Oh, okay. Frick. Okay. It's fine. We'll just... We'll just, just try again. Yeah, that part... That part so far has been the trickiest. Right, I don't have to jump over that because of law computers. All right, all right, all right. Uh, and of course, of course, once again, the heat kicks on <laughs> after I've done all my sync and noise cancellation and stuff. Great, great, it's fine. You probably can't even hear it over the game, I would guess. Whatever. Uh, uh, okay. Oh, oh, okay, got it. Okay, all right. Now I just need to. Got it. Now I'm gonna wait. Should I wait? I don't think I should wait. Yeah. Oh, no, no. No, that's good. There's another one down there. Okay. Ah, <laughs> okay. I got bumped into another one. Ah, it's fine. I think I actually, I think I actually can turn up the game just a little bit so I can actually hear it. Because I definitely can't hear it over the heat now. Although, to be honest, I'm not actually upset that the heat has kicked on because it's, it's always cold down here. It's always. Well, I mean, granted, it's winter, so it would make sense that it's cold down here, but, uh... It's literally freezing outside. And I don't mean literally as in figuratively. I mean literally as in literally. As in, I lost traction on my way home from work several times last time. <laughs> and it was actually kind of terrifying. I'm okay though. Worst that happened was I scraped my car, my already beat up car, by the way. It's not like, all right, it runs fine, but it's it's definitely got a few dents in it. Um, yeah, I scraped my car, the side of my car, on a barricade. Actually, it was like it was like the front end and the back end where there were already scrapes on it, so it's it really isn't even noticeable. But it was still terrifying. Because there were like eight cars coming in the other direction when I lost traction. I was like, oh, oh, okay, well, it's either I go into oncoming traffic or I go into, uh, oh, lava in this case or I go into the barricade. Luckily, I was going slow enough that, you know, it, there there wasn't a whole lot of chance for a whole lot of damage to be done, but <laughs> I, it, was, it was still terrifying. As someone who has been in four car accidents in, yeah, four, uh, four car accidents in the span of my 26 years of life. It's not, it's not fun. It's not fun. It's never fun. 
There might have even been more, but those are the only ones that I remember getting hurt in. And those were all fairly recently. I mean, those were all the ones... No, okay, one of them I wasn't driving for, but three of the four I was. Uh, I don't know if I've actually told the story of those car accidents. And it's not like it's traumatic for me or anything. It's just unpleasant. Uh, but yeah, so I guess I'll tell it now. Uh, first one, I was still but a child. Not that young. I think I was like 14 or something. Uh, but yeah, I was just in town with my parents. They were sitting in a turn lane trying to go and take a, take a turn, you know. And yeah, some 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 kids in a car. They thought they could make a turn that they couldn't make, and so they ended up clipping a rear end and hitting it pretty hard. It was enough to give me whiplash. That was my first instance of whiplash. Uh, yeah, yeah, because I, I was just I was just back there in the back seat. Playing my, I, it would have been the DS at the time. Playing my DS, and yeah, they 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 just in the rear, totally messed up the back door of my mom's car because it was uh, it was a it was a Rav4 is what it was. It's like an 06 Rav4. Uh, so the 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 back part was all messed up and they had to get it fixed. Of course, it was covered by the other person's insurance because they were insured, thankfully. Uh, yeah, that was my uh, first car accident that I was in. Uh, and I always, when I call them accidents, I always feel weird because when I was in driver's ed, it was taught by an actual, the, the driver's ed I went to, who the company that I used was taught by actual like former police you know, state patrol, those types who, you know, actually see the results of these things. And one of the things he said that kind of stuck with me was car accidents aren't really accidents. Like an accident is like, oops, I spilled my orange juice on the rug. Whereas in a car accident, you're like people die, like people straight up die in car accidents. So to call it the same thing as you would call like oh the, the dog peed on the dog peed in the house like that's not it's not really that accurate so yeah so vehicular collisions is what I try to er, call it when I am uh, when, when I'm trying to be specific about it I guess you know be more accurate but yeah so that was that was the first one I wasn't driving, I was just in the back seat playing games. <laughs> Imagine if I was driving and playing my DS. No, that's that's a bad idea, don't do that. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that was the first time. Uh, the second time, was I was driving. And it was supposed to be my second day of work at the last job I had. You know, the, the job I had before my current job. It was supposed to be my second day of work. And I was in kind of a similar situation. I was behind someone that was trying to turn left, and in, there was no turn lane in this case. So I was just kind of, we were sitting in the middle of the road, basically waiting for an opportunity. And just all of a sudden, out of nowhere, I, I get you know, jerked forward and then back. And what had happened was, there was a car that crashed into the truck that was behind me in a pickup truck. And it pushed that pickup truck into me, which then pushed me into the truck in front of me. Also a pickup truck. Uh, <clears throat> so yeah, uh, my little car did not stand a chance. It was completely totaled. And that was my second instance of whiplash. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and then not long after, actually, it was only, I think it was less than six months, I think, 
I was on my way home from work, same job. And I was working closing shifts at the time. So I was coming home and it was a, it was a, it was a I, I won't, won't give too much information on where I work, but it was a pizza place. And so if you're working a closing shift, you're usually getting out of there at like 10, 11 o'clock at night. And it's dark. And there are, out oh, where I grew up, you're in the middle of the woods. There's a lot of wild animals. I think I've talked about that part about before. So you do have to deal with animals when you're driving uh, on occasion. Uh, I was driving home from work that night and one I, I don't know how else to put it other than there was a deer on the side of the road and I was almost home actually but there was a deer on the side of the road and I thought oh okay well the deer is surely smart enough that it'll stand there as I pass right and of course I still slowed down because you don't want you don't want to risk hitting it at full speed if it does jump out and then it did and I hit it and it went flying I know it went flying because it ended up on it ended up on the other side of the road it was crossing on my side of the road and then it was all the way off the other side of the road when I had act finally stopped and actually got to it uh, got to check out where it was because I wanted to make sure it wasn't still on the road of course uh, and it wasn't no it was on the other side so yeah there was a lot of force uh, that was this one wasn't diagnosed but I'm pretty sure that was my third case of whiplash because yes I got jerked around in that one too uh, and then like a couple months after that the last three all happened within a year of each other. I should preface this with that. So within a couple months of that, once again, I was coming home from work and there was a deer on the side of the road that decided it needed to go in front of me. And again, I had slowed down, but it wasn't enough. So yeah, that was another deer hit. And that was another case of whiplash, and there was another, another totaled car. Because in all three of the accidents that I've been in when I was driving, my car has been totaled. Again, part of the reason is because I've never owned a new car, and the more your car is worth, the less likely they are to total it. That's how it works. Basically, if you don't know, when a car is totaled, it's because it would cost more to repair than it is actually worth. That's generally the reason. So, and my cars that I've owned so far have not been worth a ton. Although it, I hear that new used cars are kind of worth more than some new cars now. Some used cars are worth more than some new cars. And that's kind of funny. Uh, and I'm not talking like your Lamborghinis or your, uh, what was that? Man, uh, not, I was going to say Mandalorian, but that's not correct. Uh, what's that car from Back to the Future? The, uh, shoot. I can't remember it. I, I can see it in my head, but I can't remember it. I can't really see it. I've got a bit of a case of aphantasia, but, um, but I know what it looks like. DeLorean, that's what it was. Yes. So, yeah, we're not... I'm getting sidetracked, but yeah, some some just regular old used cars like a like a 2010 Civic, I guess. I don't know if that's actually correct, but something like that. Uh, some used cars are actually worth more than or selling for more than new cars of similar make and model. So yeah, that's. But yeah, it's that's all this to say. I've been in a few uh, vehicular collisions. And I have gotten whiplash most likely four times. 
and yeah, my, my neck is still a little messed up. Still a little messed up because of it. Which sucks. Which sucks, but there's really, really not a ton that can be done about it. I mean, I was going to a chiropractor for a while, for the first after the first two collisions. And that helps as long as you keep doing it. But A, it's expensive, and B, insurance is only gonna pay for that for so long. So yeah, I don't do that anymore. But you know what? Maybe I'll do it next time. Because uh, as for this episode, that's a wrap. Can you guess why I hate driving?